What is going on, guys? It is the Carefree Sponge here, and today I'm going to be giving you an honest review of my Armor Granite 4x4 3S BLX V3. Mm, excuse me. After about owning it for about two to three months. So, in the two to three months, as far as this is made to be a basher, or like a, a speed basher, a stunt truck, whatever you want to call it, it's just at least that's what I've seen other people on YouTube use it as. But I've most, I haven't, I, 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 accident, I've done some jumps. I've gotten about five, seven feet in the air. I have hit a tree going about 15. I hit a house going, I hit a stone wall of a house going, a bit of concrete side of a house going about 25, 30. And then I hit a garage door, not like a, the one the car go in, but the one people walk through, and, um, damage nothing. The only thing so far that's broken on this car is this shell, which, right now, to cover it up until I get a new one, which I think this will last quite a bit. Now I have a Traxxas Max tail guard, tail guard that I cut and glued together, and then it broke, so I had the zip tie, and now I'm using heat shrink thermal paste. On that as well and it's held up pretty good once I've zip tied it I've had to fix a couple little cracks here and there but back seems to take the worst of it the front and the cab is all rock solid and as far internals only issue with the truck itself I've had this wheel come off twice we well, I locked it I put lock tight on it the first time after it fell off and then it fell off again so I emailed Armor, and they sent me a bunch of free parts. They sent me two replacement A arms and two new of uh, these things right there. And even though these didn't need to be replaced, I just emailed and told them what happened. They sent me these free parts. Awesome. I have some spare parts, which is awesome. And I pay nothing for them. Another thing I've had to replace, though, is these body clips. Two of these rubber attacher things broke off, so I had to get new ones on there. And looks pretty good. The only thing I've noticed is the bumpers do not like it when you jump over rocks. Because I've jumped a rock pile quite a few times. And if it shows up on camera, this thing gets scuffed and scraped all over. And But other than that, I've heard some people say the bumper breaks like here where that circle thing is. I haven't had any sort of damage come to that. The wheelie bar, the wheels get a little scuffed up. But it does its job because this thing... Goes vertical a lot, and this thing holds it right where it should be. And um, this is the box it came in. It's from Horizon Hobby. It's an armor, so duh. I think Horizon Hobby owns armor, I believe. And as far as electronic components, I've not had a problem with any of these except for the fan motor. I have had to take this cover off and clear grass out of it because I, I, I drive it on my yard a lot. Gets a lot of grass in there. Not good for it. It was to the point where it stops, so I had to take it out, and I had to unwind a bunch of graphs from it. It was kind of a mess. But as far as ESCs, and the thing that this connects to, the controller, this is absolute. the servo, absolutely lightning fast response time. Like, you do this, it goes. And it's proportional, so if you want to go a little turn, you just move it a little bit. Same thing with the throttle. I've done a speed run with this, with my phone duct tape to it. And I picked up at top speed on standard 2S batteries, stock, 42 miles an hour. And it's rated 50 plus on 3S, but I think it'll do 60 on 3S, even without modification stock, considering I was not expecting 42 miles per hour on 2S. That was insane. It was pretty sick, actually. And then again, I went easy on it, too, when I did that speed run, because I had my phone duct taped, too, and I really didn't want to bust my phone in a crash. So, and the other ang the other thing that does kind of aggravate me, it's not a big deal. These wires right here, grass gets trapped underneath those, and it's a pain to try to get it out because you don't want to mess up the wires in there. And it's kind of like a rat's nest of wires in there. And other than that, it's it, it is is awesome for the price. This is probably the best RC car in the market for the price. I know people say it's the best RC car for. All around, there's got to be the Traxxas X-Max. But for me, it's not about what... 
Uh, well, it is about the amount of abuse and damage an RC car can take without getting damaged. And this car stands up to it. I Like I said, I hit, I hit concrete walls going 30. No damage. None. The only thing is the body shell, because there's no reinforcement back here to protect this part. So this part just takes all the beating. And that's literally the only downside I've had to it. Couple odds and ends, of course, the wheel falling off, that wasn't too good, but hopefully, the second set of Loctite, we let it sit for 24 hours, hopefully that'll stay. But other than that, it's a solid truck. I'd say, this thing is faster than X-Max. Everybody raves about the Atraxxus X-Max, and I have to say, for the price, I'd have to have two of these in an X-Max. Considering the fact that... I guess the pros to the Traxxas X-Max, though, is the parts are cheaper. This one, the parts are a little bit more expensive, but depends on where you look. Amazon, I found out, really rips you off of the parts. Because these A-Arms were $9.99 for my armor, but they sent them to me for free. Because I, I complained about the... Because actually, this thing, when the wheel broke, the drive shaft rubbed into there and made a big divot in there. So I didn't need to replace it, but I was a little aggravated. So they sent me a whole new set of real A-Arms. And it came out, per and even I didn't even have to use any replacement parts. It came out perfect. And um, the X Max, though, so it's a little bit slower too, I'd imagine, because I think it says the X Max goes forty plus. This thing goes fifty plus. And if I'm running something with eight S batteries, and it's gonna get beat by something with three S, two S, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed, especially if I'm paying like a grand, which is what X Maxes are going for now. But, um, that's just my honest review. I've owned it for about two months now, two, three months now. I have to say, it's worth every penny. If you are going to get your, if just getting into the hobby like I am, this is a perfect starter truck. This will take all the abuse that a new beginner driver will put it through. This thing has taken a beating and is still good as new. It's a little dusty, it's a little dirty, it's a little scuffed in places, but it functions perfectly. Can't say that a lot of, about a lot of other trucks, judging by YouTube videos I've seen. And, so yeah, if you want a uh, scale 1 to 10, I'm going to give this truck a 9 out of 10. Pff, awesome. It's just awesome. And the only reason it's not getting a 10 out of 10 is the wheel issue, but that's solved. And... The body shell, which I found a fix to, and I'll probably end up buying another one. And the body shells are really expensive, so I'm going to have to wait a bit before I buy one, because I checked, and they're, like, sold out on Amazon to, like, 60 bucks. It's ridiculous. But, um, that's all i got to say about it for now. Look forward to some bashing videos in the future, some cool stunts I'm going to do with it. And, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm going to show you, uh, right after I'm done talking, some videos are going to play of some of the cool stuff I've done with it. Some clips of cool stunts and stuff I've done with it. So, uh, enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If I can get a little bit more speed, that'd be, that'd be mint. Okay, I didn't want to do that.